All right, my friends, so I'm down here in the gym. Woo, get back into it. I got all of uh, 95 pounds on a squat and uh, 45, 55, 65, 75 on the deadlift. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I look at my thing up there. Squats, 375, deadlifts, 375, and bench, 250. And I burned through bench at 250 last year. And I was uh, 315 on squats. I think about uh, 285 or something like that on deadlift. I was having a hard time just because my uh, grip isn't that good. So I bought these uh, these things right here. Can you see those? Those are called, um, I forgot what they're called, grip something. And I was watching some old guy on YouTube deadlift like 700 pounds. They're like, how do you get your grip? He, he uses those things. And man, I tell you, they woof. All right, so I'm checking my emails, which is what I do uh, in between sets and whatnot. Some guy had emailed me this. Uh, it's from Market Watch. Uh, I guess Morningstar uh, took it and ran with it. What are these guys who write? Do they get paid? I don't know how this works, but I love it. Guess who could who could do a better job with your investments than a financial advisor? You. Had my man Gus email me today. He said he loved my videos on high, you know don't uh, hire a visor, be one. Uh, he wants to interview me, so he went enrolled in some school. I thought that was awesome, and he wants to uh, interview me for his class. I said, I mean, not, I don't know, like his paper, so I don't know what it is. But I said, man, that's freaking awesome, dude. I love the fact that people are. Um, I just, I love it. I could not be happier. So let's read what my man or Sanjib Saha. I, I don't know what is that an Indian name? I don't know. So if Sanjib is a man or a woman, I'm not sure. Do they? Uh, they don't talk about who this person is. So my apologies if I say he when it's a she, but I'm going to address my C. So, all right. So he says uh, the biggest four fears about managing your own money and how to conquer them. Uh, he says after taking a series six sixty five exam last February, I set a goal for 2019. Help 10 friends and family members with their finances. Instead of giving specific investment advice, I wanted to educate them on money. I knew they had benefit from one-on-one -on -one discussions, well-regarded books, educational videos, and credible websites. But I also suspected that some might hesitant, hesitate to talk to me about their finances. Nevertheless, I gave it a try. That sounds painful to me, frankly. Uh, reaching out to 10 family friends or, or friends or family to talk about their finances, that, that does not sound fun. If you're going to this business, don't do that. Um, insurance companies, well, actually, insurance companies are notorious for saying, call all your friends, call all your family. Um, because what happens with these companies, my friends, is that they will, you're going to wash out. All right. We know for a fact the vast majority of uh, advisors wash out. But, they, but the clients that you were able to get are still in the system, still drawing fees uh, off of your efforts essentially so even though you aren't getting paid your person you put into that company is still paying fees and the insurance company or the financial uh, advisory firm is still receiving those fees i'm telling you right now some people will move a lot of people just stay uh because they're just you know they don't want to move someplace they're afraid to move they don't want to they're ignorant i mean whatever and again ignorant doesn't mean they're stupid it just means they don't know um, but a lot of people won't move, and so the insurance company is essentially getting an annuity off your labor. Uh, that <laughs> I, I, anyway, so just don't do that to your friends or family. I tell you, man, because you're most of you're going to wash out. Anyway, uh, everyone showed interest in many time except Aisha, a close friend. She hesitated for two reasons. First, she had a financial advisor and saw little value in educating herself. She figured if she was paying top dollar for advice, she was guaranteed top notch as results. Secondly, she worried about straining her relationship with her advisor by asking questions she'd never asked before. I insisted that, given the stakes, it was better to be informed than nice. Uh, she reluctantly requested that her advisor send her along cumulative portfolio performance reports, a little history about Aisha's investments. Many years ago, she received a windfall that she needed to invest. She interviewed a few financial advisors. Let's take a look where this, where this goes to. Uh, Okay, uh, it's just another link to that website. Uh, and went with someone who had an impressive job title, a long list of designations, and a friendly demeanor. She regularly reviewed her portfolio with the advisor. Uh, don't do that for the love of me, man. If you're reviewing your portfolio every quarterly, you're just wasting time. That's just called make work. Don't do that. Uh, but never consider there might be better performance, might be performance pro problems. After all, paid professional ought to do better than the market. As it turned out, her portfolio had more than doubled over 16 and a half years, and she was impressed. And so she back-tested an identical asset allocation, using Portfolio Visualizer, 
asset allocation. Okay. How much does that tell us? Like what she, let's just, I'm curious to see. Oh yeah. Okay. It doesn't test, tell you what she invests in. It just gives you, that's pretty cool. I like the portfolio visualizer, by the way. Um, anyway, she back tested an asset allocation and uh, one with half stocks, half corporate bonds, a 50, 50 allocation consisting of just two broad index funds would have quadrupled her money. She stared at the results in disbelief. The opportunity cost was huge. Why such dismal returns? See, these guys are, all right, so just as an SEO perspective, my friends, these guys are doing it well. See how they got all these links? So he's got Humble Dollar. Oh, that's Investopedia. But if you just hover over the link, link right there, Humble Dollar, Humble Dollar. And this article was initially in, uh, it said Humble Dollar, but I, I saw it on Market Watch. And I see it now on Morningstar. So this this article has gone from uh, Humble Dollar to Market Wash to Morningstar with all the various links that go in it, all these what's called backlinks. And if I look here at Morningstar, uh, this no, I'm sorry. If I look here at Market Watch, uh, they're going to have the same thing here with the various backlinks. And this is a yeah, look at man, this is a great way to say your SEO search engine optimization. This is a fantastic way to do it. He sets all these links in his uh, his uh, website. Uh, to his own website or whoever does the humble dollar is fantastic. Good, that's just good work. I, Frank, I, I should do more of that, but I, I just that don't take the time. Um, all right, there's only one possible explanation for all the the underperformance: wrong-headed stock picking and market timing decisions. Look at all these backlinks. This is man, these guys are. Uh, that might be a little bit too much, actually. The Morningstar algorithm isn't stupid. They know when you're doing keyword stuffing, and they can also tell when you're doing backlink stuffing. This looks like it might be a little bit backlink stuffing, but anyway. Uh, her investments made money thanks to the long-running bull market, but that gain was obscured by the miserable underperformance relative to the simple portfolio of index funds. It shook This finding shook her belief in professional financial advice. Still, she needed to consider the overall value she was getting from her advisor. Uh, portfolio performance is only one dimension. A good advisor also helps clients with financial planning and provides emotional support. Uh, <laughs> that's my emotional support advisor on the airplane uh, during market gyrations. Uh, she thought long and hard about what to do and a few weeks later decided there was no reason to consider, not to continue with her advisor. All right, so here are four of Aisha's biggest misconceptions. She lacked the expertise. Unless you have a complex financial situation, managing your own money requires common sense as discipline. There are many uh, links and books uh, that can help you figure that out. She doesn't know how to turn it into an investment plan to action. Improved technology coupled with the proliferation of low-cost index funds have made investing simple. Yep. Uh, she doesn't have the time. A few hours spent on basic investment education uh, is all the time that you need. I couldn't agree with that more. Uh, she won't have any guidance if she needs it. Com competent fin fiduciary advisors are available for one-time or occasional uh, guidance. Uh, looking for an advisor who charges by the hour? Go to Garrett Financial Planning or National Association of Personal Financial Advisors. Yep, I couldn't agree more. Uh, software uh, uh, engineer by profession, Sanjib Saha is transitioning. To early retired. <laughs> gotcha. Transitioning to early retired. His previous articles include all this right here. Uh, the Series 60. Look, I'm not trying to discount the Series 65, but the uh, Series 65 is not that big of a deal. Series 7 was hard. CFP was hard. Series 7 was not as hard as the CFP, but the Series 7 was a pain in the butt, man. I freaking, I mean, I, I did fine, but it's just like, whew. Uh, that was hard because there's a lot. The Series 6 was easy. Series 63 was tough because it's all... Oh, it's just boiler. I mean, it's just lawyer ease. I hated the 63. I got 90 in the series six. I got a 94 in the seven. I have no clue what you got in the CFP. Uh, they don't tell you. I think I thought I failed, to be honest with you. I was surprised I passed. 65, I think I got like a 92 or something like that. 63, I got like a 72. I think you have to have a 70 to pass. Doesn't mean I'm unethical. It means I, I just cannot stand the legalese stuff. That, oh, I hated that. Seemed like I took another one too. I forgot what it was. But anyway, there you go. So all right, it's, it's okay. I don't have any qualm with that. But a little bit of SEO knowledge thrown in there, my friends. Backlink knowledge and uh, some investment knowledge too. Hope this helps. As always, love to see your comments. Thanks now.